hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be showing you all how i achieved this boho box braid look on myself before you ask no ma'am i did not sit and braid these into my head okay it's crochet yes ma'am you heard right it is crochet so today's video is done in partnership with woden hair on amazon they sent me over their 18 inch goddess box braids and i must say i am very very impressed with the quality of this hair and just the way that um, i was able to work with it throughout my entire head so here is what the hair looks like they sent over seven packs in the color t1b 27 as you can see it's a 1b up top and down at the bottom it turns into the color 27 super super cute ombre there are 16 box braids in each pack and they sent over seven so it was more than enough to complete my entire head and i still have two packs left the hair in my head is super lightweight it doesn't feel any heavier than a typical head of knotless or box braids and i am pretty impressed i wanted it to more so resemble the look of the braid itself i didn't want it to be super uniform or super neat i kind of wanted a carefree style so i decided to do the free part method now if you're not good at cornrowing your hair then this method will be perfect for you and it'll save you a lot of time with this style and the method that I used I can pull my hair up and it looks like individual box braids so yeah I'm pretty pleased and very very impressed with the quality of this hair again a big thank you to Walden hair for sponsoring today's video so if you're interested in seeing how I got this cute crochet box braid style in my head then just keep on watching Hi. so yeah I think I'm going to do like a free part crochet kind of look I haven't done this before nor have I seen it done before so I'm basically just winging it and if it's not cute in the end then y'all probably won't see this anyway so yeah let's get started so for me it's important to make sure that there's a decent ratio between the part line like the base of where the braid will lie and the base of the actual crochet braid you don't want your base to be way bigger than this base or neither do you want it to be a lot smaller because then it defeats the whole purpose of trying to make a natural crochet look because it'll be too many braids in your head. I hope that made sense. <laughs> it makes sense in my head, but explaining it is a little bit tougher. As you can see, the base of this braid is not very big but it's not extremely small either. It's more so medium. So I want to make medium parts in my head. What I'm going to start by doing is just creating free parts. So right here, I'm going to just make a part, not a box, not a square, just a part, child. And I'm applying my Shine Jam Conditioning Gel to the parameters of that part. Same thing I always do when I braid my hair. And I'm going to comb that. I'm going to smooth that through. And I'm going to begin to make a plait with this piece of hair that I've sectioned off.
just like that. And so instead of making a line back and parting it boxy, like I said, I'm just going to do some free parts. And I'm keeping in mind the size of my braided hair, the size of the crochet loop on my braided hair because I don't want the part to be too big and I don't want it to be too small either. And so I'm going to use the method that you've seen me all use before, but only this time I'm not as strategic with my parts. And so I'm gonna take the first braid that I did here and connect it back with this new plait. And by no means do these plaits have to look nice because they're going to be hidden anyway.
Okay, so the top is finished. Y'all know how I do with the back. I'm going to cornrow the back down. But again, if you do not know how to cornrow, you can simply do this all the way down. But for the sake of time, and since I know how to cornrow, I'm going to go ahead and cornrow the back. It won't be pretty. It's not going to be perfect. The parts will not be perfect. But it's okay because nobody will see it. So there's that. Okay, so now that I have my entire head braided down, it's the back. I know, but shut your mouth. I'm going to insert my crochet hook in a downward motion and feed the hair through. The downward motion helps for it to lay flat. 